Years ago today, Southern California was glued to the television set as we watched the infamous North Hollywood bank shootout play out on live TV. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in front of the bank at the center of the standoff with some of the heroes from that day. Dave? Well, Rick, it was just after 9 o'clock on a Friday, right here in front of this bank, the robbery. Two men who had, uh, to calm their nerves, had taken a lot of extra uh, prescription drugs. They thought there was $750,000 in there, and they thought they could walk out of there. A flurry of police officers met them, but they were heavily armed. And what happened next was probably one of the wildest shootouts in the history of all of this nation. It was drama that unfolded on live television 20 years ago today. And it was an unfair fight. The two bank robbers, dressed in heavy body armor and carrying automatic assault rifles, simply outgunned the LAPD. When you hit somebody with some rounds, they stop. It basically just got his attention. And, you know, a 9mm against a AK-47, it was pretty unfair. But that's all the LAPD carried 20 years ago. Their 9mm handguns and shotguns. They were up against automatic weapons from the two bank robbers who fired 1,100 armor piercing rounds at them in a span of 44 minutes. I thought that was the day I was going to die. I was shot four times. I had one round go through the lower part of my vest. Officer James Zaboravan had been an LAPD officer only two months before he was shot. I was laying on top of uh, one of the detectives that wasn't wearing any body armor at the time. Today, the LAPD honored all those who answered the call that day. Also on display, a sergeant's car. He took a bullet to the head, survived, now lives in Utah. In his remarks today, Chief Charlie Beck said during the 1990s, the image of the LAPD took a beating. He mentioned Rodney King, the Rampart scandal. But then he said the Hollywood shootout changed the image. You defined this organization in a time when it desperately needed it. And because of that, we all were very proud. The LAPD refers to February 28, 1997, the day willpower defeated firepower. Incredibly, uh, no police officers were killed that day, although 11 were shot. Seven bystanders were also shot and injured. The only fatalities, the two men who tried to rob the bank. Said one officer about that day, I was in the wrong place with the wrong gun. It'll never happen again with the LAPD. Things change dramatically. High-powered rifles are now something they always carry. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Dave.